Hello everyone, in this video, I will show you our new product. Uh, this is KC868 A32M. You can see uh, this is a PCB board, and this is the back, and this is in front. And this time, we have designed this 32 channel board by the ESP32 module, but that used by the most fit output. So you can see uh, this is one board, and this you can see this is A32. You can see this is A32. That have 32 channel relay output. So you can see this relay is very big and the board is big. But we have designed this board so that will be let this size become smaller. So you can see almost two board at right here. Almost two board, uh, half of this big board. So this is A32M board. In this video, I will show you this hardware details and how to integrate with the Home Assistant by the ESP Home. Also, you can write any other code to this ESP32 module. Okay, let's look at this hardware details. Uh, we have designed this PCB board, you can see here. Uh, this is a PCB board. Uh, also, we can see the 3D mode, you can see here. Uh, that is the back. And this is in front. And the 2D mode. And also you can see the schematic download from our web page. You can see here. You can download from the Kinkoni and the software and document. You will see uh, this is A32M. We have already uploaded to our web page. So you can just click and you can download the schematic so that you can understand the hardware easily. And here you can see the details, every pin, what is the function. You can see here, that is the power supply, and the analog input, and the S485. And this have the different MOSFET output channel, that have totally 32 channel output. So you can see there are have two, four orange terminal. So you can connect the different power supply for this terminal and so that will output the different voltage according to this terminal. So if you connect with 12 voltage, that will, each channel will output 12 voltage. Uh, this you have connected 24 voltage, uh, that the each channel will output 24 voltage. So you can output the different voltage at the same time. And here you can see that the ESP32 module and this is for the Ethernet, and this is a USB Type C. Uh, you can download the Arduino code or download the ESP Home and download from the Home Assistant. And this is reset, and this is GPIO zero for this ESP32 module. And there are some sockets. This is for 2G module, and this is for 4G module. You can see uh, this used by the 2G module. You can plug in this module, SIM 800. This is 2G module. This is cheap, but if you want to use the forge module, you can see uh, this board. I have connected with the forge module, so so you can see uh, just fix by the metal and uh, insert the SIM card. And also you can see this is socket. We have used this RTC module that is DS three two three one. You just plug it into this socket, and we'll use this battery to save the system clock time. And uh, you can see this part, I have connected with the all module, a forge module and RTC module. And also you can see here that have a socket for IF433 MHz receive module. Uh, you can see here, uh, that is receive module. You can plug in it, then you can use the remote, uh, and the remote control this every output channel. So you can see this board, I have connected with the power supply, 12 volts. I have connected this uh, four orange terminal together, all is for the 12 volt, 12 volt, 12 volt together. So that the 32 channel will output the 12 volt. Because I will show you the demo for the home assistant. This board also support install the plastic shoe. You can see this is the cover and this is the button, plastic shoe. And this should also support install to the DIN wheel or to your power distribution box. So you can see, I can put this board uh, to the button. 
and just install the cover. So that you can install this box to your DB. And so you can see this is in front, the Ethernet part and the USB part and the button. And uh, this you can see this side. Okay, uh, this is after install the plastic shoe. Now I will use this board and connect with the Ethernet cable. I will show you how to work with the home assistant. And this is the power supply. I have connected the 12 volts. And you will see uh, this red LED is on. Okay, let's look at how to integrate to Home Assistant by ESP Home. You can see this is A32M. I have created the dashboard. And you can see that can be turned on and turned off for this output. And you just go to our form. So you can download the config YAML file from our form. You can see here that have txt file you can download and just copy and paste so that you can just click this file you will see just a copy and paste it here you can see the ESP home and you can create the A32M so I have already created an online so you just can create and paste all code at here and just click install and by the USB cable so make sure you have connect with this USB cable uh, from your Raspberry Pi and after you finish the install and you will use this dashboard and in Home Assistant so you can see so you can see I can turn on this is the first one and the second and the third so you can see uh, there are three LEDs this time you can remove your USB cable and only the network cable can work and uh, you can see let turn all off so you can see all off if I turn all on so you can see uh, this 32 channel all is on so you can connect with this terminal to your external relay or external device just a DC device so you can see I can turn all off uh, this is the speed for the home assistant and all on so you can see that can control by the home assistant uh, by the PC or by your mobile phone thanks for watching